On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review Barrel Bourbon Batch 27. Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Today, we are reviewing another great find. It's Barrel Bourbon Batch 27. Here is the bottle. I'll give you guys a little bit of info on this. According to their website, Barrel Batch 27 started with a six-year-old Fruit Forward Barrels from Tennessee, so that's probably Dickel, and five-year-old Spice Forward Barrels from Indiana. So MGP, which you all know I love. After these were blended together, 13 and 15 year old barrels with more wood tannin and depth were layered in and a select number of nine year old barrels with a higher rye content were blended in for spice and assertiveness. Barrel Bourbon Batch 27 comes in at 115.7 proof. Now I have heard batches 25 and 26 were outstanding. I did not have a chance to taste those, but uh, I have had a little bit of batch 27 and so far I have loved it. For those of you new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system. We have six categories. We rate zero to one, 0.5 being average. We rate the appearance, the nose, the palette, the finish, the availability, and the value. We add those up at the end. Anything over a three is bar worthy. Anything four or better is bunker sum. All right, so with all that being said, let's get into the appearance of Bourbon Barrel Batch 27. for me these bottles are really just okay um they, they're not outstanding in fact most of the bourbon barrel stuff i've kind of passed on the shelf because it's a little higher priced we'll get into the value in a little bit uh, but the appearance is just very lackluster to me very average i'm going to give it a 0.5 all right let's get into what everyone came here for and that is the nose and the palate here we go the nose is so so beautiful it's it's so dense and sugary and sweet lots of caramel there typical bourbon notes but then there's just this overwhelming fruit bomb and it's just like a bunch of red fruits almost like smarties in that you know it's got that like dustiness to it yeah it's like a handful of smarties it's so good oh i love it there's you know since i know that there's there's dickle juice in here go ahead make your jokes through the whole video since i know there's dickle juice in here it seems like it's there to me but it's not as offensive it's not as vitamin-y if that's a word minerally as as dickle juice is a lot of people uh equate dickle juice to that flintstone vitamin note this is um there's a hint of that just barely a hint of that if you know it i don't know if i would know if i was if i was smelling this and tasting this blind to me, it's almost like more like a handful of Smarties and then just red fruits and caramel. I don't know that I would know if this was Dickel Juice if I just smelled it blind. Mm. The nose is so beautiful. We're going to give it a 0.7. All right, moving on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Oh, the palate's so good. Man. This is one of those whiskeys. I say it all the time when I have a good whiskey. Oh man, it's squeezing, finishes forever. This is one of those I don't want to talk whiskeys. Uh, this is one of those whiskeys you want to explore. You want to sit down, take some time with it. The palate is just beautiful, really dense. Again, fruit bomb. Tons of red fruits, cherries, Smarties. Um, it's got some of that like powdered sugar. Um, it does feel like there's, you can almost, you, you almost taste the dickel juice in there. I know, I'm gonna keep saying it. You almost taste it, but um, whoever blended this did a wonderful job to get the best parts of dickel, which is the fruitiness, out and keep, uh, keep away those mineral vitamin notes. So it does have that fruitiness, but um, without the offensiveness, it's almost like 
Fruity Pebble cereal instead of um, instead of Flintstone vitamins, if that makes any sense. Really good. Um, huge cherry explosion. Tons and tons of cherry on this. We're going to go in for another sip. Mm. And there's that. I didn't catch it the first time. But there's that MGP high rye that's just gorgeous. Like vanillas and berries and cream and rye spice. Um, dances all over your tongue. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So, you, you know, like I said, you've got some six year in here. You've got some 15, some 13, some nine year. It's a lot of stuff in here. It's a wonderful blend. I am just in love with it. Mm, this is one of those that I think can compete with a lot of allocated, super expensive bourbons. And it's just sitting on the shelf. Not a lot of people are chasing it. Um, so I think it's fantastic. I think you guys need to run out and find this. I'm going to have one more sip here. Um, on the palate, we're going to give it a 0.8. It is really, really delicious. Let's move on to the finish here. Hmm. The finish goes forever. I think to me, that's what shines on this. It's peppery. There's that fruit explosion in the mid palate. And then you get rye spice. You get some squeeze in the chest. Um, that transitions to cinnamon in the back of the palate to me. Um, it just goes and goes and goes. You get these like waves of hugs too. Um, this is a bourbon you could sit down with and you know have an ounce over 30 to 40 minutes if you're just taking your time and really exploring. I'm in love. I really like this bourbon. Um, on the finish, we're gonna give it a 0.9. It's almost perfect. All right, moving on to value. Value is a tricky one for me with barrel bourbons because I typically see them in the store for around $90 to $100, which to me has always caused me not to pull the trigger on barrel bourbon. This batch in particular was in my store um, on sale for $79, so I just decided to grab it, and I'm so glad I did. It makes me want to chase down batch 25 and 26, which I hear are amazing as well. Uh, but, you know, you're getting... Uh, some six-year Dickel Indiana juice, and, but you're also getting some 15, 13, and nine-year. You're getting some MGP blended in there. So you're getting a lot of good bourbons at um, 115 proof. So that helps with the value, in my opinion. And then you take the taste into account, the nose, the finish, what's actually in the bottle. It's definitely worth $70 all day long. But as you start to get to 80, 90, that's where it gets a little questionable. We're talking about $100 per bottle. I don't know. Um, it gets a little sticky. I'm going to put the value at above average because of what's in it and because of the taste. Uh, but these are, those, these are some of those bottles that you don't know what you're going to get from release to release. Um, and sometimes you might get burned for $100. But batch 27, you are not going to get burned. It is fantastic. Uh, but on value, we're going to give it a 0.6. All right, looking at availability, I'm in Illinois. I can get barrel bourbon pretty much any batch whenever I want it. These don't fly off the shelves. They're not allocated. People aren't chasing them. Uh, I would be chasing batch 27. Um, so for availability, we're going to give it a 0.7. That brings our overall score for barrel bourbon batch 27 to a 4.2. That makes this bottle bunker worthy and I think that score is perfect for this bottle. It is so good. I'm definitely gonna go back, grab another bottle, and bunker some of these, because it's fantastic. I love the fruitiness. I love the balance. I really love the finish on it. It is a great buy at $79. Um, if I see it for 90, I might pull the trigger. 100, probably not. All right, before we go, guys, I wanna start doing a new thing after our reviews and reading some of your comments. And uh, today's comment comes from Peter H. He made a comment on our Wild Turkey Rare Breed video. Uh, he said, great video as usual. The rating system you use now is great. And I really appreciate that and wanted to mention that on this video because I'd love your guys' input on our rating system. Uh, my only question right now is with the rating system, um, I don't have appearance weighted and I feel like it should be because if this bottle is super ugly but the juice inside is really good, um, it, it doesn't pers it doesn't stop me from getting it and and as the scoring system stands right now appearance is the same value as taste and nose and finish and that kind of seems silly to me um, so if you would give me some input let me know if you like the scoring system the way it is if you'd like to see it changed if you'd like to see it changed and I do change it that's gonna change all our, our systems I'm gonna have to figure that out so uh, but I'd love your input 
as always guys thank you so much for the support i really appreciate all the likes the comments the subs our patreon members thank you so much if you want to join patreon you can join our bourbon crew for as little as two dollars a month really helps support the channel and helps us grow uh we just hit 1227 subscribers uh the channel's been growing like crazy we're finally monetized so um thank you guys all so much for the support i'll keep doing these videos as long as you guys keep commenting as long as you keep loving them Till next time, cheers, everybody.